Hello everyone and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video. Today I will be giving you 4 building tips and tricks for the barrier system inside a Planet Zoo. To start things off, we're going to create a fencing alongside our path. Now, inside a Planet Zoo, barriers are used to keep animals inside of their habitats, but you don't always have to use items for their intended use, especially when you're trying to create something more aesthetic. So, what I'm going to be doing here is taking the hedge barrier and building it alongside my path to create a fencing. Now, in addition, I can also adjust the start and end angles. Now, what this will do is change the angle at the top of the barrier so it does not always have to be perfectly flat. So, what I'm going to be doing here is make it look like it's in a wave. Now, in addition to barriers as a whole, you can also make them climb proof. What I'm going to be doing here is taking the climb proof toggle and enabling on these hedge barriers to create more additional aesthetics on top of the barrier. And to top things off for my fencing along this path, I'm going to place down some flowers, rocks, and some plants. So up next, I'm going to be showing you how to create any barrier in the game have a curve. So at the top, you can see all the ones that can have a curve, and at the bottom, all the ones that can't. So if you want to have, let's say, the chain link fence be curved, what you want to do is build out the one that can have a curve first, highlight it, and then swap it out. This can be applied to the wooden one, chain, and of course, the metal fence. And then of course, the same thing does apply to the windowed version of these barriers. Do you want to build an underwater observatory or do you want to build an aquarium inside a planet zoo? Well, to do so, all you have to do is just dig down underground, take your barrier tool, build across this hole that you've made, and then on one side, just simply place down your water. And then of course, in a spot that you do want guests to see through the water, you place it with glass. Now, let's say you don't want the very top of your barrier to be, well, glass, and let's say you want it to feel like it has a bit more structure to it. Of course, you can take the brick wall and uh, just put windows on it, or you can do so with the wooden wall, or perhaps maybe you want it to be a hedge or a chain link fence. Well, you can do that. But what if you want nothing there? What if you just want your water floating? What you can do is highlight the barrier that is covering your water and replace it with the null fencing. And uh, that's it. It looks like your water is floating there because you have no other object in the way. But this can also be applied elsewhere. Now this final trick I'm going to be showing you is where you can have two different bodies of water inside of the same pool. So. Let's say you want part of your body of water to be calm, 
big buoy by the shore, right? But the further out it is, maybe you want it to appear more rough. So what you could do is dig down, right, to create your spot where you want your body of water to be, and then you're going to take the barriers and build across this pool of water, okay? There's no water there yet, but it's where your water is going to be, okay? Now, you don't want the barrier that's going across to be a single segment. It has to be more than one segment. Otherwise, this trick won't work. It'll just give you errors. So, make sure that you have multiple segments going across. And then, after you have those segments going across, then place down your bodies of water where you want them to be. And then, after that, replace it with the null barrier. So, doing this will provide you a trick where you can have two different bodies of water, or in addition, having multiple different levels of water. But uh, I believe that's a trick that we can uh, cover another time. So, with that being said, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, feel free to share down in the comments below what sort of items that you've created out of this video. Feel free to share your workshop links, because I'll love to give them a look. But anyways, other than that, I will see you guys later.